there, uh, Griffin and Jones here, here to tell you about some very exciting things that we have coming up here in Guildford. Very exciting indeed. Now we run a show called the Locking Cabaret, the variety night, the premier variety night. That's right, some of you may have heard of it, some of you may not. Basically it started here in Guildford, uh, what, eight years ago? Eight years, yeah. Eight years ago, ridiculous. Since then it's gone from strength to strength, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, we've had hundreds of packed rooms at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival over five years. So uh, in February of this year we thought we'd bring it back to Guildford Fringe and it sold out with packed room we had an amazing night couldn't fit everyone in so we're doing it all again on May the 11th that's Saturday May the 11th yeah. we are back in the back room of the star in Guildford with Guildford Fringe performing another lock-in cabaret now for those of you who did come along to the February show don't worry it's a completely different lineup I mean we're, 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 we're still we're still it, we're still hosting fine. but we'll do new, new tricks and things new cool. tricks yeah, yeah, we'll do new, we'll do stuff, new tricks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're here to tell you about the exciting lineup. We've just confirmed everybody now, and we couldn't be more pleased with the acts we've managed to confirm. Absolutely. First up, we have the man of mischief himself, Mark Watson. Mark Watson's coming down. That's right, juggler, magician, man of danger, general, wonderful human being. A wonderful human being. Uh, he, he did our locking cabaret at the Edinburgh Fringe last year, and he just absolutely stormed it. Uh, he's a London based actor who's coming down to Guildford to show you his amazing skills. You're not going to want to miss his finale. It's something that all of our audience to talk about. Absolutely. Uh, secondly, we have uh, Velvet Jones, our burlesque for the evening. Absolutely wonderful burlesque act. We were so lucky to get her. We uh, we worked with her, what, about a month ago? It was last month, yeah. Yeah, last month. Uh, yes, and uh, she absolutely blew our minds and we thought, yes, we've got to get we, down. We, we, need, we need to have her she in She performs at international burlesque festivals all over the world. We're very lucky to have her and we can't wait for you to see her. Uh, next up, we have Pam Ford. Oh, Pammy. Cabaret veteran. Indeed. She performed with us back in the day in Guildford. She performed with us countless times at every, Edinburgh Fringe. Every year at the Edinburgh Fringe she's every done a show year. for us. We don't ask her back, she just turns up. <laughs> but you're going to love her. She is always an audience favourite. Uh, I don't want to tell you too much about her, but she's a stand-up comedian. Uh, she's Australian uh, and she will eat us alive if she gets the chance. Uh, oh, she's, yes. she's hysterical. She truly is. Which leads us to our final act. Our final act. We are absolutely over the moon to have uh, a hero of the alternative comedy circuit. Very much so. Uh, Chris Lynham is coming down to play our locking cab. Now, for those of you who uh, don't know Chris, some of you might be familiar with his work. Uh, Chris has been described as the king of clowns, and Eddie Izzard once called him the funniest man on the planet. Uh, he's going to come down, he's going to be wild, he's going to be hysterical. Literally anything could happen. Literally anything. It's going to be insane, and we cannot wait. We cannot wait. that's what the Locking Cabaret is all about. Uh, tickets are over half sold already, uh, so go to the Guildford Fringe website, grab yourself one of the last tickets, and make sure you come and join us on May the 11th in Guildford at the back room of the star and that's about it really uh, we're enjoying the nice weather here and um, it looks like we've been like in the forest um, doing it's, it's nothing it's no it's it's fine we're just just out for a walk just out for a walk just mate. Out for a walk. Uh, but hopefully we'll see you on May 11th uh, we genuinely can't wait it's going to be an amazing line so make sure you get your tickets fast before they sell out see you there bye, bye.